Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. My life on two wheels. It's good to see you. I hope you all had a great week. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's 100% my fault. I think on the vlog last week, I mentioned that it was my intention to hit the road, get out, bang out some mileage outside. It's been a long, it's been a long winter. So I thought, yeah, okay. You know, temperature's looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we got about 10 to 12 centimeters of snow last night. Totally put the kibosh on any riding outside for the next couple of days. And it's cold and windy and shit and winter's back. And I apologize profusely. Sorry. So with that in mind, what do I have in store for you this week? A couple things. Something new arrived. I'm going to show you that momentarily. Also, I've got a wee project that I need to do for someone else's bike. My old bike, which I sold to somebody. They need some work done on it. I'm that guy who's going to uh, try and fix it. Um, so, yeah, let's go take a look at that, that little project. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the um, dungeon, basement, workroom. Um, this is where all the magic happened a few vlogs ago and John was over and we set up uh, those wo Wovens uh, tubeless. That was a lot of fun. Check out the vlog, I think about three, three, three or so vlogs ago. Um, anyways, so here's the project. Um, this is not my bike, this is my old bike. I did a, a review on my gravel bike. It's a Felt F3X. This was the precursor to that bike. This is a Felt F4X. Big difference, as you can see, is that there are no discs on this one. Still a, a sweet bike, externally routed, not internally routed. It's got a rotor crank set on it, Altegra Grupo. It's got a longer hanger, because currently I'm running an 1132 on the back. It is only 10 speed. Um, and it has canty brakes. It's a great, uh, for me, it'd be a great beater bike. Yeah, anyways, it's a sweet bike. So the project that I need to do on it is really minor. Uh, I have one of these guys, as you can see. It's a chain stretch guide, as you all know. So we're gonna check out if the chain needs to be replaced. Um, I did a bit of work ahead of this shoot and um, surprise, surprise, yes, it needs to be replaced. And I think I'm a bit of a believer that if you're gonna change the chain, then you should change the cassette as well. So let's take a look at those two. Okay, so let's check the 0.75 indicator here. See how we get on. We got all that end in there. And then, yeah, okay. Not too much stretch. Which is, uh, which is pretty good, 0.5. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. I think there's a, a wee bit of life left in this chain. Not too, too much though, so I think we're gonna go ahead and replace it. Okay, so you saw the project. Um, we need to replace the cassette and we need to replace the chain. Normally I would go Shimano Shimano. Um, I will explain to you a little bit later on as to why I'm going SRAM in this go around. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but let's go pick up the goods. We're going to Bushtuka and um, they have them waiting for me. Um, Linda's very excited today. Woohoo! I don't know why. Why am I excited? <laughs> She's excited because we're going to Bushtuka. Oh, yeah. She's excited because we're going to the grocery store together. 
We haven't gone to the grocery <laughs> store together in... Since the second week of the first lockdown? March 2020. It's not because we don't like grocery shopping together. It's because we did the responsible thing and only one person in the store, one person grocery shopping, cuts down on the numbers. Okay, successful grocery shop completed. It was a bit of a whiz-bang zoom around the grocery store. How was that for you? It was fast. It was really fast. <laughs> I usually can't buy kale as fast as we did that. <laughs> and not as emotional, uh, not as emotionally destroying as it usually is, <laughs> the grocery store. That's because I was there, just to, to do some of the emotional heavy lifting. <laughs> Anyways, we're at uh, Bush Tuka. Here we go. Okay, we have returned back home. Um, Linda did very well. Um, managed to find a whole bunch of um, women-specific cycling gear. So uh, she was super excited about that. Got a couple of long sleeve jerseys made by a company called Peppermint. Uh, Women-specific gear out of a, um, I think they're out of Montreal. Really good stuff, high quality. So she's stoked about that. Uh, and then I picked up some SRAM stuff. So uh, again, as I mentioned a bit earlier, I've got a 10-speed uh, grouper on there. So I've got a 10-speed SRAM chain and cassette. So a 10-speed um, 1132 cassette. And the reason why I went with the uh, SRAM chain instead of Shimano is they have the uh, quick link in here uh, instead of faffing around with the little rivet. Um, because I don't, to be quite honest, I don't have the patience for that and uh, my chain tool is, is not the best. So uh, yeah, let's get this project started. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah, fairly simple tasks. Um, replaced the cassette, 1132 SRAM. Um, may need to tighten that up a little bit and uh, replace the chain. Again, uh, went with the SRAM because it has that quick link uh, versus that really frustrating rivet. Um, all done. Hopefully my boss will be happy and uh, we'll ride it plenty in the uh, when the season eventually starts, when it eventually warms up. Uh, the one other thing uh, about this bike, and um, I asked for some advice a couple of weeks ago about how to loosen or remove a, an extremely stuck um, pedal. And so far, I haven't been able to dislodge it. Uh, I think two or three of us have had a go, uh, no luck. So uh, I don't know. I may give up or I may just have to replace the cranks. Not too sure. Anyways, have a great week. Uh, I've got some more stuff to do around here and uh, we will regroup. And uh, I promise you, I'm going to mention it now, uh, but I promise that I will be outside on the bike uh, this week. It's certainly looking better. And uh, now that I've said that, I've probably jinxed it for everybody. I apologize. Again, I'm apologizing. Canadian. It's what we do.